What do you say, Fight Club? It's now time for our main event of the evening. Two of the absolute best roasters that we have. One of them is a former comedy Fight Club champion. It could be a three-round battle. We're going to go to our judges in between rounds for feedback. We're going to pick a winner at the end of three rounds. I'm going to introduce them to you right now. But before I do, Fight Club, I need all the energy you can possibly muster up. This is going to be an amazing roast battle. Are you ready for your main event? Yeah! All right, introducing first from Rutland, Vermont. Your first fighter identifies as they, them, so they, them sucks at comedy. Anya Vol! <laughs> What's up, Anya? How are you doing? I just really need $50. <laughs> that is why I'm here. I'm going to fully disassociate for the rest of the night. So have fun, everyone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to meet your opponent. He's from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It's Bill Walton's retarded son, Drew Drevyanko. <laughs> What's up, Drew? You're a former comedy fight club champion. Your opponent's already said they're not going to give it all, they're all in this fight. Are you nervous? <laughs> yes, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which one of you guys wants to go first in round one? All right, Drew's going first in round one. Four jokes, tip for tat in the first round. Four jokes straight through in round two. Tip for tat again in the third round. We're going to start with round one with Drew Drevyanko. <laughs> Anya's going second. One more time, Fight Club, you ready for your main event? <laughs> this fight starts now. Round one, fight. We live in an age where we must believe all women. I just don't believe Anya Vols is one. <laughs> All right, well, you uh, recognize my gender identity. I love that. Thank you. Um, uh, <laughs> okay, you look like you would recommend my own podcast to me. Uh, Dave, can I call you Dave? <laughs> I don't want to confuse anyone by thinking that I have any respect for this man by being here. Uh, this is actually the first time I've ever bothered to learn Daniel's name. Uh, Anya is very progressive. Uh, she's always fighting the racial tension between the white heads and black heads on her face. <laughs> I have gorgeous skin. Um, thank you, you human embodiment of a J.C. Penny catalog. Um, it's one thing to have your face and body. It's another thing to dress the way you do. You look like your life's mission is to prove Republicans can be snowflake cucks, too. Get over here! <laughs> thank you, Sinead Offended. <laughs> Anya leans very left uh, to pretend she has an ass on Instagram. Uh, if you're here, who is getting coffee for the brave reporters breaking the Watergate scandal? This guy has what I like to call big intern energy. Like, sure, he's really tall, but especially if we're describing his dick in Starbucks sizes. Because that's Last the smallest show. one. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Anya really is such a snowflake, because you know, she's always getting plowed by truckers. <laughs> I wish. OK. Uh, <laughs> uh, Drew looks like. He is the dungeon master of an all-Republican Dungeons and Dragons game. You're so waspy, the 2008 bailout is what you're, you call the abortion your father paid for. <laughs> Great. Yeah. How about that? Give it up for round one of your main event. Go to our judges. What do you guys say so far? Ryan Long, what do you think? Oh, I like, I like both these people. That was great. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I think Drew definitely looks like the guy that would Airbnb at his house and then stay around way too long to make sure <laughs> everything's fine. <laughs> <And> <laughs> but no, you guys are cool. That's fucking awesome. Keep it going. All right, Moses Storm, what do you think after the first round? Uh, I'm, I'm going to give the first round today, but I'm really excited about Anya. It like, seems like some creator. <laughs> you bought into Anya not saying his name correctly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I yeah, we did, we've all established this doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> I think I it would have like, worked if the entire crowd didn't all say Drew when he came to the stage. <laughs> oh, I thought they were saying boo. <laughs> so I'm going to give this one to Sarah. <laughs> 
Kim Congdon, what do you think after round one? Um, that was a good battle, you guys. Um, I think that uh, Drew really took it with the uh, ass leaning to the left, and whatever joke came after that, I already forgot. <laughs> but it was good. <laughs> Thank you. Shanae offended. offended. <laughs> awesome. I'm scared to say anything mean about Anya because I feel like she's going to leave here and then try to cancel us all. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go to round two now. It's going to be four jokes straight through. We're going to start with Anya. (laughs) (laughs) Anya's going first. Um, Drew's going second. Four jokes, tip for tat. Fight Club, you still got some energy for round two of this fight? All right, round two starts now. Round two, fight. Let's make this quick. Doug here has to return to his job on Wall Street, where he is the replacement for the second tower at the World Trade Center. (laughs) First blood. Uh, Derek is from Philly. (laughs) He is to comedy what Philly is to cities. The only reason to see Philly is to appreciate how great all the other cities are. Uh, (laughs) Dennis is what we call in the business a one-liner comic. You need to do at least one line to enjoy his comedy. One more. Okay. Uh, (laughs) Dylan, (laughs) this is so stupid. Okay. Dylan and his girlfriend are uh, the real it couple in comedy in that they are deeply unfunny clowns (laughs) sprung from the imagination of Stephen King to give us all waking nightmares. Drew Drivianko. Right. What can I say about Anya's sexuality? That hasn't been perfectly explained by Joe Rogan. (laughs) You look like the glory hole in a gender neutral bathroom. (laughs) Anya is a true feminist. Uh, She doesn't shave her legs, her armpits, or her balls. One more. Uh, Anya dropped out of high school after getting sexually assaulted, which is a shame, but at least one of them got to finish. Let's go to our judges. We'll start. Kim Condon, what do you think after round two? Um, it was a good round, Anya. <laughs> um, <laughs> you don't have to lie to our faces. Oh, That's no, I okay. was talking to Drew. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, you. the, the name thing, I, could, I like that you tried to do something different, and I think that's great, like, to experiment on new jokes. You went, uh, I feel like uh, the jokes that you did were a lot like your vagina, went through a lot of Ds. Um, <laughs> see, sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> It even hurts over here. No, that was good. Thank you. Um, it hurts more that you said that and then no one. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, Drew. We don't yeah. need them. No, no, no. <laughs> we don't. Drew, I, I think you, yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> all right. So Anya doing something different and experimenting in that round. Real out of character. Dude, I literally, <laughs> by this, like the seventh joke, I was like, I think she's getting the name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was sitting there trying to think of what other D names <laughs> are there. Stupid I am. Then I was like, oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> what do you think, Ryan? No, I mean, uh, yeah, obviously Drew's taking it, but I still I think it's a good battle. Moses Storm, after round two, wow. what are you thinking? I'm so glad we're here. Uh, I'm, no. I'm giving it to Drew, just you, just because he had some, some jokes in there. Awesome. So it seems like Drew's in the lead so far. <laughs> we're going to go to round three because we need to fill the rest of the time yeah. we have here. Fight Club. <laughs> One more round. Four jokes tip for tat. Your final round of the night. You guys feeling ready for it? You feeling something? I'm going to start with Drew. Four jokes tip for tat. Round three starts now. Final round. Fight. Uh, Anya just made a short film about sex positivity. Yeah, because that's what we need right now. A movie made by a woman. Uh, Give it up for Cousin Greg. He gets comparisons to that secession character a lot because nobody knows why the fuck he's here. Okay, nobody watches that show. That's fine. I liked it. I liked it. (laughs) All right. Uh, Anya's body lacks protein, but her tits are definitely (laughs) preteen. You look like you write poetry about comic books. Uh, it's actually fitting because you have kind of a Clark Kent vibe about you. You'd be much more successful and popular back before there were literally any other options. (laughs) Thank you, rise and fall of the third dyke. (laughs) (laughs) 
I would give Anya a high five. Like, if I was really high, I'd say she's a five. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Drew is 6'7". On a scale of one to ten, see, we're, we got a theme going on here. <laughs> um, <laughs> ten being even remotely worth my time to remember his name. Uh, you're so unremarkable when I was thinking of dumb fake names, I came up with Drew and was like, nah, too boring. <laughs> Last joke. Uh, every guy on your fucks is like a paper straw. They go soft after 30 seconds. <laughs> Because they come, because my pussy's so good. Okay, um, and that is a fucking clap back, bitch. All right. <laughs> Give me a hell yeah! <laughs> Can't wait for my $50. Okay, you are... So <laughs> I am so short on rent right now, you guys. Uh, you are so aggressively white, the blackest you will ever be is being confused with being a member of the Black Keys. Uh... <laughs> That's also the closest you'll ever be to being a successful musician. Hey, dude, how's the weather up there? Between failing at music and failing at comedy, you've been paid an exposure so much, I'm surprised you haven't died of it yet. <laughs> All right. That's right. Vermont-born, non-binary person describes someone else as aggressively white. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go to you guys first. Do you think the winner of this fight is Anya Vols? It's okay. I just want $50. <laughs> or is the winner of this fight Drew Drevyanko? <laughs> Crowd vote goes to Drew Drevyanko. Judges, Moses Storm, we'll start with you. Who do you uh, think won this obviously fight? Obviously going to give this one to, to Drew, but I think Anya, that was a lot of fun. Way to represent the Goodwill Improv team. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty solid performance all throughout. It was very fun, and, you, and you, you stayed in there. You didn't give up. I loved it. Two votes for Drew Drevianka. Ryan Long. Yeah, Anya came back with some heat in that round. Yeah. <laughs> also, this isn't even funny, but I feel like everyone decided that they don't like you before you went on stage. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that was true, though. He does look like Clark Kent if like, he just decided to not do the whole Superman thing and stick with his normal job. <laughs> Yeah. Don't uh, worry. It's, uh, by the way, it's okay if you don't say anything funny tonight. I don't know if you've been watching the show so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're ahead of time. You really save time when there's no laughs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, the, I'm the reason your battle's not going to be fun tonight to watch. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I give it to Drew, but I mean, that last round was good, and I thought it was a good battle. Right. Yo, 5 5.30 battles, yo. We're having fun out here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, do we know what the private event is that's happening in the club tonight? A staff party. Oh, I thought they were going to be watching the Royal Rumble together. <laughs> That's what I would rent out a club for. <laughs> Kim Congdon. Oh, one person's excited for the Royal Rumble. Kim Congdon. Um, that was really something, you guys. Um, <laughs> it was... Uh, Anya, you look like if Miley Cyrus did more drugs. <laughs> um... I think that you came back this third round and you it was definitely better than your first two rounds, but I don't think it was enough to beat Drew. And Drew, your jokes were really funny. And I know that because you said that thing about women and I cackled and uh, sent us back a few years. <laughs> <laughs> also right now on HBO Latina, Kim Congdon's 15 minute set also sets women back several years. You can watch that now. <laughs> <laughs> Fight Club, your winner of this main event. It's Drew Drevyanko! 